Hey everyone, Brian here, your Honest Mechanic. Today I want to talk about a common problem many drivers experience. Seeing the battery or charging system warning light come on in your dash, but finding out the alternator is actually still charging. This conflicting situation can definitely cause some confusion and make you think the mechanics got it wrong when they say the charging system checks out fine. But in reality, there's a few reasons why you can have a good alternator that's putting out the proper voltage, yet still have issues that turn on the warning light, indicating a bad alternator or electrical problem. I'm going to cover the most common causes, how you can test for these issues yourself, and what to check when trying to track down electrical gremlins like this. First, the basics. That battery or charge indicator light is tied to sensors in the electrical system that monitor voltage and circuit integrity. When everything is working properly, your alternator puts out around 14 volts to charge the battery and run additional electronics. If that output voltage starts to drop or a circuit gets disrupted, the computer will turn on the indicator light to let you know. Now, in the case where the computer thinks there's an issue, but voltage tests or a scan tool shows 14 plus volts from the alternator, there's likely something causing an intermittent fault. Things like bad battery. If your battery is more than three to five years old, it may not be able to hold a full charge even if the alternator outputs enough power. Internal resistance develops in dying batteries, which makes it difficult for them to reach a full state of charge. Since the sensors see the battery voltage fluctuating or not reaching peak levels, the computer interprets this as a fault. Loose battery cables and terminals. Over time, vibration can cause the main positive and negative battery cables to loosen on the terminal ends. If that connection becomes interrupted while driving, the sensors will see wildly fluctuating voltage even if the alternator keeps pumping out power through the bad connection. Failing Voltage Regulator The voltage regulator is the control unit inside the alternator that modulates power output to maintain around 14 volts. When going bad, voltage can swing higher or lower. If the sensors pick up periods of over or under voltage, it will trigger the fault light again despite most of the time putting out the normal 14 plus volts. Short circuits. Bare spots in wiring or broken insulation can create paths to ground. Combined with vibration while driving, this can make an otherwise working alternator setup seem intermittent. Any shorts will show up as excessive draw to the sensors. Computer issues. Keep in mind the PCM evaluates data from multiple sensors to determine if there's a fault or not with the charging system voltage and circuit integrity. If any of the supporting sensors are malfunctioning due to wear or calibration issues, bad data can lead to false diagnostic errors that turn on warning lights. Those cover some of the major players when it comes to a car battery warning light coming on despite acceptable alternator output. To give you a better idea of tracking down issues like this yourself, here is a quick three-step process. Number one, electronic diagnostics. Pull codes from computer check sensor readings like alternator voltage output. This will reveal any identified issues the PCM sees. Number two, parasitic draw test. This involves putting a multimeter in series between battery ground and terminal to measure current draw with vehicle off. Goal is less than 50 MA draw. Intermittent shorts may show up here you won't see in codes. Last step, battery load test. Most parts stores have load testers to diagnose battery health issues and identify units unable to hold a charge. This can eliminate the battery as the culprit for that misleading charge indicator light. Armed with the right testing approach, hopefully you can zero in on the gremlin causing trouble in your charging system. Intermittent electrical faults are never fun to track down but taking methodical steps for electronics diagnostics can save you headaches down the road. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more auto repair info like this. Thanks for watching.